my channel and if you're new hi my name is Danielle nice to meet you and if you're new to this Dan fan make sure to hit that subscribe button down below I love coffee I know a lot of you guys like coffee I know a lot of you guys know that I love coffee in specific ice vanilla latte so I know hacks videos are super popular and a lot of you guys like those and I know a lot of you guys like coffee so why don't we do a coffee hacks video am I right <laughs> so I came up with about 10 coffee hacks for you guys give or take a few and they're just things to make your life easier when it comes to coffee or just tips that you didn't know about coffee or just fun coffee filled stuff it's gonna be a great video I'm so excited this is actually going to be a hacks collab video with my girl Nicole Jacqueline and she wanted to say a few words to you guys hi everyone welcome to my channel kind of almost you're almost there so my name is Nicole and on my channel I am doing some school hacks for you guys that you guys need to try out. These hacks are so helpful and will help you have an amazing school year. I am so excited for you guys to watch this video today. So definitely come check out my channel after you watch Danielle's video. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Thanks for choosing Starbucks. This is Joel speaking. How may I help you? Hi Joel, can I have a double espresso please? Sure, a double Adobe espresso, what else for you? That's it. All right, I'll have those order for you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, so what are you? Here's your Adobe espresso. Amazing, thank you so much. Have a good day. You too, bye-bye. Yay! This is just something fun to do. You can take those two espresso shots that you got from Starbucks and you can freeze them and then use them to make a latte in the future. Just add some milk and ice and you're good to go. As we all know, coffee gets the bad rep for sometimes making your teeth a little bit more yellow than you'd like just because you might drink it a lot or whatever. So they say that it's better to drink coffee with a straw if you can. I usually get lattes, so it's not a problem. Ice lattes are amazing. They also say you can drink water directly after having your coffee and it kind of cleanses out your system and your teeth to get rid of that stain. So there's this thing called a coffee nap. Basically, you drink your cup of coffee or latte right before taking a short 15 minute nap. And this is for if you get tired throughout the day. And then when you wake up, you should feel energized and good because you had caffeine and a little nap. Pretty cool, right? Oh my gosh, hey Megan. Oh hey Dan, what's going on? Oh actually, I'm just leaving. I responded to some emails, had my morning coffee. <sighs> oh man. I can tell, um, I got a... Oh, okay, bye! I'm just looking out for you guys. Coffee can definitely make you have a little bit of a bad breath or a coffee breath. So to combat that, make sure to always have gum or breath spray immediately after you have some. <laughs> Don't you hate when your iced coffee or iced latte gets watered down from the ice? Well, not anymore. We're going to make some coffee ice cubes. So literally just brew some coffee. I had my dad help me. <laughs> and um, then once you're done with that, you just simply pour it into some ice cube trays. I literally got these from the dollar store for like nothing. And you just disperse that throughout the ice cube tray. And then you have some coffee ice cubes. You just put them in the freezer overnight or however long it takes for you i had again my dad helped me do this because he wanted to be a part of the video so thanks dad you're the best and i think he was also kind of just intrigued by this <laughs> and then the next morning i woke up and i had gotten a latte but i was starting to get a little watered down but i still wanted to drink it so i took out my coffee ice cubes they looked super cute i love it it's just so cool to me and I just plopped them into my latte so that when the ice started to melt, it was just even more coffee. Don't you love it? It's great. Don't suffer through a bitter 
cup of coffee. Instead, add a pinch of salt. The saltiness counteracts the bitterness and gives the coffee a smoother taste. So, what'd you think? Did you guys like the video? I hope you did. <laughs> if you did happen to like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I would love if you guys join the damn fam because I just, I love my damn fam. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Nicole's video, which is a back to school hacks video. Link down below and subscribe to your channel while you're at it. And I will see you guys next time for my next video. Bye, guys.